Welcome to another segment on our show, The Science of Sex. I'm Morgan, and today we're talking about a recent paper in Current Biology where scientists argue that dolphins seem to have a fully functioning clitoris. In the studio today, we have Dr. Brennan, who is going to tell us a bit more about this study, and then we'll take some callers with questions. So hello, Dr. Brennan. <laughs> uh, welcome to The Science of Sex. We're so happy that you could join us today. And can you tell us what drove you to do this study? Hi, thank you so much for having me. Um, yes, so I study in my lab at Mount Holyoke College the evolution of genitalia in uh, many different animals. And I was collaborating with Dr. Dara Orbeck, and we were dissecting all these different dolphin vaginas. And we, no we kept noticing these clitorises that were quite large. And because we knew already that dolphins, just like humans and primates, have sex all the time, not just to produce offspring, um, we figured it would be an interesting question to look into. Um, yeah, so had nobody looked at the dolphin clitoris before to try to figure this out? No, actually not with the level of morphological detail that we used. Um, and believe it or not, not a lot of people are out there studying animal clitorises, and even the human clitoris we actually only fully describe in the mid-1990s. Wow, I had no idea. All right, so tell us what you did and what you found that's new to the scientific literature. Sure, so... Um, uh, the first thing is we dissected uh, many specimens that came from animals that had died of natural causes. And we looked at adults and juveniles and calves. And we used a couple of different techniques. We used uh, something called CT scanning, which is what the doctor orders when they want to look in your internal organs. And um, we also use histology, which is a technique where you get very thin slices of, of tissues and you look at their makeup to figure out how they're put together. And uh, the first thing we noted when um, we were doing the CT scans is that the erectile tissue of, of the dolphin clitoris looks very much like the erectile tissue of the human clitoris. It has these long arm that are, arms that are called crure that actually come together and merge under a clitoris body. And um, this, uh, this whole uh, area seems to uh, be inflatable and, and be able to erect. So... What do you mean inflation, like a balloon or a tire? Yeah, something like that. I mean, basically, uh, part of the sexual uh, pleasure response is uh, blood rushing into these erectile spaces and making them hard uh, or turgid. And we noticed that this is exactly what happens in the dolphins. There's a lot of erectile spaces and a lot of blood vascularization. Uh, we also noticed that there are two different types of uh, erectile tissue, just the same as in the human clitoris. One is called the spongy tissue, and the other one is called the corpus cavernosum. And what's interesting is that when we looked at the uh, adults and compared them with the juveniles and the calves, uh, the adults have this S shape in their clitoris body and their erectile tissue that probably straightens when it becomes hard. Uh, and, and that suggests, because that's not present in the juveniles or calves, that this has some kind of reproductive function. But that's not the only thing. The other things we notice um, are first that, that uh, the, there are very large nerve bundles in the clitoris body. And uh, these nerve bundles are connected to free nerve endings right underneath the skin. Um, and there are these structures called the dermal papilla. And the skin in that area, in this clitoris body, is three times thinner than in the adjacent regions, which means that this is prime for being more sensitive. And then finally, we also found these uh, genital corpuscles, which are sensory structures that have been described and are well known in human clitoris and in the tip of the human penis. Uh, and those are there specifically for pleasure. So this is uh, pretty good evidence that dolphins are probably experiencing pleasure through clitoris stimulation. That sounds fascinating. Um, let me get some callers on the line who I'm sure have questions. Um, caller number one, Carla. Howdy, Dr. Brennan. You said that the clitoris is likely functional. Does that mean that the female dolphins have orgasms? Well, for their sake, I hope they do. But we actually can't really answer that question because studying the sexual response in, in dolphins is very hard. They're not, you know, as relatable as a primate, for example, might be. Um, so we don't know. But we can tell is that the, there is uh, the possibility that they're experiencing pleasure. But orgasm, we just don't know. Wild. All right. Caller number two is Alex. 
Hi, Dr. Brennan. Uh, my question is, do you think that lots of other female animals out there are experiencing pleasure and we just don't know it? Yeah, I mean, we know that uh, many vertebrates, uh, the females have clitorises. Uh, they're just not very well described. And there is a, a small subset of people who think that, you know, females have clitorises because males have penises. And so that's why they're there. I actually think that's unlikely to be the case. If having sex feels good, then animals will have more of it, and then they'll produce more offspring. So evolutionarily, it would make a lot of sense that sex would feel good for females. Um, and so what's cool is that in this paper, we have outlined a series of morphological uh, criteria that we can use to try to answer that question by examining other animals and, and figuring out if, if they're having a good time. Yeah, and we're going to leave it at that, folks. Um, thank you again to our guest, Dr. Brennan. And we hope you enjoyed this segment of The Science of Sex. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.